hello again everyone in this video tutorial we will be finding the partial fraction for this given example the next thing we want to make sure that the degree in the numerator is indeed less than the degree in the denominator let's go ahead and set uh, this rational expression up for partial fraction so let's put it down so as you can notice that we have x plus 2 power 3 that means the linear factor repeating three times so i can write a over x plus 2 plus b over x plus 2 square and plus c over x plus 2 power 3 okay so far so good now the next step what we want to do is i want you to get rid of these fractions so in order to get rid of fraction i want you to multiply whatever this quantity is multiply across the board so i'm going to multiply x plus 2 power 3 x plus 2 power 3 x plus 2 power 3 and x plus 2 power 3 so as you can see this cancel over this one and then what we're going to get we're going to get on the left hand side negative 2x power 2 minus 5x minus 1 equals to one of these factor cancels out so we got a times x plus 2 square plus b times x plus 2 as you can see and finally you can see this whole thing cancel with this one so we got plus c i want to call this equation number one just keep in your mind so now we want to find the value of a b and c so we will be using this simple trick what we did is at the bottom you see at the denominator we have linear factor x plus 2 i just set that thing equal to 0 x turns out to be negative 2 so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to say at x equal to negative 2 what's going to happen let's go ahead and plug it in in this equation number one so negative 2 times negative 2 square minus 5 times negative 2 minus 1 equals to do you see this thing over here a time negative 2 plus 2 is going to give you 0 0 squared is 0 of course plus b times negative 2 plus 2 is again 0 plus c so once you simplify this thing over here on the left hand side that's going to give you 1 on this side so and this is 0 this is 0 so c turns out to be 1 so the next thing we want to find a and b and we will be using this method it is called equate the coefficients or simply compare the coefficients on the both sides let's see how things go let me show you now so we're going to put down a times x plus 2 squared you just multiply twice so square is going to be x square plus 4x plus 4 and then i want you to just simply distribute this thing that's going to be plus bx plus 2b plus c or simply we're gonna distribute over here as well so that's going to become ax square plus 4ax plus 4a plus bx plus 2b plus c over here so let's go ahead and look at what we got so we can write see only there's x square part so i'm going to write down ax square plus how about for x parts this is x this is x so that's going to make 
a plus b times x plus what is going to be the constant terms 4a plus 2b and then plus c on the right hand side and on the left hand side is simply negative 2x square minus 5x minus 1. So now we're going to compare these terms on both sides. So let's focus on the square coefficients. On the left hand side this is a negative 2 equals to on the right hand side we just simply got a isn't it? So for x is going to be for x variable the coefficient is negative 5 on this side equals to 4a plus b and for the constant is going to be a negative 1 equals to 4a plus 2b plus c. So you can see obviously a turns out to be negative 2 as well. Now we know that c equals to 1 over here. You, we know that already a equals to negative 2. From here we can figure out this one. We're going to figure out b. So how much that's going to be? Negative 5 equals to 4 times a is negative 2 plus b which gives us what? We gives us negative 5 minus equal to negative 8 plus b so b turns out to be 3 isn't it? Thus we figured out a equals to negative 2, b equals to 3, c equals to 1 and we're going to plug it in. We're going to replace a over here by negative 2. We're going to replace b by 3 and c by 1. So our complete answer is going to be a negative 2 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x plus 2 square and finally plus 1 over x plus 2 power 3 and that is our complete answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.